On the behalf of Academia and Maya, we present our first introductory lecture uh, that we are recording in the Tesla Museum in Belgrade, in Serbia. And our subjects um, in this introductory lecture subject is emptiness. Uh, will be pure emptiness, pure emptiness and uh, the essence of Tesla philosophy as a norm, which is unknown, of course, and uh, his uh, push to bring together physics and metaphysics. So, um, uh, this is Professor Velimir Abramovich and myself, Boris Petrovic, and uh, we say hello to all YouTube viewers. So, Professor, I think you could uh, maybe introduce we are here in front of the model of Tesla's tower in Wardenclyffe in Long Island that um, he used to light up ionosphere, Earth's ionosphere, 1903, and, uh, and we uh, personally think that he was responsible for the Tunguska explosion. There is an evidence of that, actually, 1908. The explosion occurred in July, exactly the 30th of July, 7 o'clock in the morning and 17 minutes. And uh, it was discovered years ago, last year actually, that Tesla has sent his uh, assistant, Mr. Sher, to uh, Washington, D.C., to Congress Library to find, uh, in March of the same year, to find the detailed maps of Siberia. It indicates that he had something, uh, premonition maybe, or he had something technically with that explosion. We know today that uh, this wireless transmission of energy, uh, he could uh, <coughs> perform uh, from uh, his tower, because he, he, he was able actually to pump energy to the earth and accumulate it on the, on the opposite side at a certain point. And uh, he could target it directly what he wanted. And uh, actually, uh, probably, he made the last performance of Wardenclyffe Tower uh, abilities. And he, because he was not believed that he could uh, transmit energy via this form, uh, he performed that uh, so grand scale that nobody could deny it. But he did not speak about that at all. Never, never spoke about that. And uh, all the investigation which uh, underwent in, in, in Russia showed that uh, there was no other way uh, to make that explosion but to pump electromagnetic energy to the earth as a, as a medium. So it was not a comet, it was not a meteorite, it was also not antimatter as uh, uh, Mr. Piotr Lonigovich Kapitsa, Russian academician, supposed. It was not that. Uh, and the hole in Siberia is actually uh, corners look like this. So if it came from, from the atmosphere, the, the hole would be like this, but the shape of the hole is uh, completely, completely different, uh, showing that uh, the cause of the explosion came from the Earth. So at that time, only Tesla and Morgan uh, could, uh, could do that. So Tesla was the first scientist in human history, known history, I would say, that was able to create what we call a time shift. So uh, Tesla find, found out that there are certain frequencies that uh, in the recent 50 years of research we have named as Schumann resonances that correspond to frequencies on which the human brain uh, functions. So uh, 
in Tesla's vision, the whole planet could vibrate as, as one. The ground level and all the layers of atmosphere and ionosphere and magnetosphere could be made to resonance with these Schumann uh, resonant frequencies, which Tesla yeah, this uh, this discovered in Colorado Springs and used in uh, Long Island in his experiment that we just mentioned. This was designed as a complex uh, electromagnetic and also mechanical oscillator uh, which was able to take the whole Earth, atmosphere, ionosphere and, uh, and the planet itself into resonance so that you could with a very small input of energy uh, navigate Earth even through the solar system I mean, if, if necessary. So that was also possible and that was the, the reason why Tesla stopped with the experiments because it became very dangerous. And he said that the natural laws prevented him of uh, realizing his plans and not the J.P. Morgan, as many, many people were telling at that time. What is the essence of resonance and um, the way that his apparatus uh, called the magnifying trans transmitter, which we have a model here, works? Uh, so, um, it is actually explained mechanically as a pump, which is pumping electricity to Earth. And, uh, like a fluid, that's like, like a fluid. Yeah. So, what was most that's interesting sure. with Tesla, and of course he was a Serb, he had a conflict with all of, all of the world science, so it, it kind of shows his Serb genes uh, that we experience here in Serbia as well, so alone and the whole world against him. So the conflict uh, started when Tesla mentioned in his some of his works that he created waves with supraluminal speeds. Yes, through the earth also, but also around the earth. Yeah. So that means you that measure. Tesla has uh, as, as an excellent experimenter, which everyone believes in, uh, has made waves travel faster than the speed of light.